Welcome back. The FDA and CDC both today authorized a second booster shot of the Pfizer, BioNTech and Moderna coronavirus vaccines for those 50 and older. Yeah, the shots can be given at least four months after a first booster dose. Today on the news at five o'clock, we talked to a doctor from Yukon Health to get more clarity on the FDA's action. Fox 61's Brent Harden joins us with what we learned. Brent. Uh, Jen and Ben, this recommendation comes as we are starting to see an increase of cases uh, in cases of COVID. The FDA is said to have made the recommendation with limited data, but with the new subvariant becoming more dominant, experts believe even a short-term immunity boost among those at risk for severe illness could provide a valuable layer of protection. Today, we asked Dr. David Bannock of UConn Health whether all those over 50 should rush out and get the second booster shot right away. I think it does become an individual decision to some degree. Um, you know, I think the data from Israel does support that um, those who got a, a second booster um, who are older than 60 um, or in that older age group uh, generally um, do have a lower risk of infection and even a lower risk of COVID associated mortality. So, you know, I think the data, you know, it does uh, support the benefit of this uh, second booster. And I think the groups that we're really focused in on are those who are older, particularly above age 65, and then those in the 50 to 65 um, age range who may have a medical condition that puts them at higher risk for severe infection. Those are really the groups that would benefit most from uh, this second booster that's being authorized. Now, the CDC also said today those who initially received the one dose Johnson and Johnson vaccine should choose one of the mRNA vaccines, uh, those being Pfizer and Moderna, for a booster. That's because the data is showing the mRNA vaccines are providing better, longer lasting protection. And Connecticut's Public Health Commissioner, Dr. Manisha Juthani, released a statement tonight encouraging those who have not gotten their COVID-19 booster shot to do so, especially with questions surrounding the still relatively unknown new Omicron subvariant and what kind of impact it could have on our country. Ben, Jen, back to you.